Hey guys, welcome back to Kuba Style Reviews. What we're taking a look at is Make Toys, their Manga Mech Series, MMO2, T Rear End, I was about to say Tailgate, who we homages. This comes with the Hurricane add-on kit. You'll see Cyclonus over there, best buddies in the comics, but it comes with Box, Rear End, the instructions, a crying face, as well as the amputated legs, his first appearance, more than meets the eye, and the add-on kit for, of course, Cyclonus. They call it the Hurricane add-on kit for, so for the sake of this review, I'm just going to go ahead and call him Hurricane. But knocking that out, we're going to take a look at Rear End himself. It's a very nice homage to Tailgate. I mean, aesthetically, it's about as perfect as it gets. I mean... I'm not the hugest fan of the design in general, but this toy knocks it out of the park. <laughs> it has those childbearing hips and everything. So I really like how they have the upward head swing there. It's a lot of look up. Full movement of the shoulders, it also comes with that extra swing outwards, bicep swivel. He does have rotating wrist. It's really cool for a scout size figure. Ball jointed waist, so he does have the ab crunch in there and stuff like that too. Regular. Thigh swing, swivel, double jointed knees, helps with the instructions there and things like that. And of course a good amount of ankle tilt too. There you go. Right there on ball joint. So definitely not too bad or anything like that. Taking a look at his crying face here. really neat really expressive they did a really good job of taking 2d art in making it 3d making it real it's very well done i appreciate that aspect of this a lot even if i'm not a huge fan of the character design itself this really knocks it out of the park i mean realistically and tell me if i'm wrong i just don't see how a better looking tailgate could be made It's just fantastic. It's very good. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and look at those amputated leg add-ons. And again, this is from the beginning. More than meets the eye. I think it's his first appearance. He wakes up in that tunnel. It's been a while since I read, but I don't think he remembered who he was or where he came from. Anything like that. The waist rotated there. Right. It's as simple as just popping them out of the ball joints. They did a really good job about making these ball joints workable. They're not loose or anything like that, but it's still easy to get those hips on and off. Let's get that balance there and zoom in for you all. There you go. Now taking a look at Hurricane, of course, again, Cyclonus, the upgrade kit. He stands same height. About five and three quarters inches tall, a very tall deluxe. And rear end, three and a half inches, right in that scout size where he's supposed to be. Matches up well with the trash talk cogwheel. Swerving years. But the difference is the head comes with new hands as well as the hip armor there and a holster for the sword. Now be careful when it comes to putting that sword in and out of the hands. The sword that came with this guy, it actually broke trying to put it into the hands. It's very tight. The holes in the hands are not made to fit. They are closed so they don't flex or anything like that to open a lot more space. So for the sake of this review, I'm not putting it all the way in I got it in for pictures and stuff like that and I am good you guys can check out the review kumasal.com for all that but there he is all right now looking at their alt modes pretty straightforward Cyclonus or Hurricane essentially looks the same as he did before minus the hip skirt armor as well as that sword holster on top which you can remove if you want if you want to go ahead and I think it's Target Master, was it Trigger Happy or something like that? I'm not sure. Sorry if I got that wrong, but you can go ahead and remove that, put the Target Master in, that kind of stuff. Let's 
giving you a good all around view. And man, I tell you what, it's an older toy, but it was a bicep swivel away from being about one of the best classic toys there was in that 2007-2008 era. It's just really well done and a very tall deluxe too. Darn near the size of Voyager and sold for, I think they were like $10 back then. Alright, here's tailgate, rear end four rolling wheels and the aesthetic it just works you know it's not just a tribute to the designers over at make toys but one to idw as well their artists really do a good job of making concepts that are pliable that can be made into something real whether it be by hasbro or a third party but again make toys rear end hurricane add-on kit like yours, look at the corner right there. TFSource.com is where to order. The link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Pictorials on Kumastyle.com. And of course, subscribe right here on YouTube. Press the button, please. Instagram, Kuma underscore photos. And like us on Facebook. It's as simple as typing Kuma Style in the search bar. It's free to like. Lots of pictures and stuff. See you next review.